if you like the Tree of Life pendant. So now it is time for, I mean, I'm not sure. I keep, wait, let me put this on and see. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is right up my alley. The easiest way to do chic dressing, to be comfortable, keep warm, and not worry about a thing. This is the poncho. This is the turtleneck poncho to be exact. So this is stunning. Throw it on over anything that you have, but you get the beautiful merino wool with all of that cabling throughout and then the ribbing at the turtleneck and at uh, the hems of the pockets and everything. This is fabulous. So these are all marled as well. So the yarns are twisted together. So, but let's talk more about this with Barry Cullen. But the price on this is incredible. This is a clearance price. First day at this price, we're saving almost $76 on this piece. So please don't wait on it if you like it. Um, and the colors. So this is the soft gray. This is your black. We also have, in the black, four dozen. We also have the army green. Three dozen available in the army green. And we have the parsnip that I threw on. Fewer than 100 in the parsnip. Sizes extra, extra small through extra, extra large. All right, Mr. Barry Cullen, come back in and talk to me about this design because this one is special, <laughs> different, and cool. Oh, thank you for saying so. I, I think I really think this represents that the the quintessential transition piece. This is something that you want to have in your car if you're if you're if you're bringing kids to like football games or that. Something you're going out in the evening. It's a little bit of a nip. You can have this in the car. You can throw it on. It's like it's it's got the button attachment at the side, so it's going to be very easy to move around. It's got a lot of freedom at the bottom. So if you're getting in and out of a car, it's going to be comfortable. If you're on the go. This is that perfect piece. And just look at the amount of patterning and stitching. And as you can see there, that's a dyed to match button to match the marling and the stitches. And of course, in 100% merino wool, you've got a full turtleneck going up and And it's completely soft. It's completely non-irritating. Um, it's just perfect. And also because it, because it has that um, the double layering and a rib color, you pull it out a little bit if you don't, like even if, even no matter how soft something is, not everyone likes something something touching their neck at all, you know? So it's, you can have it down like that, or you can have it right up against your neck. The, it, it really is very, very, um, the, the options are kind of very uh, are endless in that regard. Oh, yeah, you're right. Absolutely. It's, it's definitely like moldable, the merino wool, and I love that. So this one you can really, more than all of them, I feel like you can really appreciate all the different cable, um, the cable stitching. And this one really has just so many different versions of the fisherman's cable. Um, so as, as I think I mentioned earlier on, but uh, the, this style of knitwear was developed in the Aran Islands, which are these three small islands off the coast of Galway, Inishmore, Inishman, and Inishir. And these would have been traditionally uh, small fishing communities. And the, the, the mothers and the, the wives of the fishermen developed this style of knitwear that would capture little pockets of air in the sweater so that when they went out into the harsh Atlantic, it would keep them warm, even with a limited amount, even when they got a little bit wet. Um, and really, what what this developed then into this style of cable knit. So this was this was all inspired by the sorts of ropes and uh, nets that they had to pull in the their nets and to raise their sails. And really, it became just kind of ingrained in the in, the, in, in this as a cultural kind of recognizable piece that was indicative of that part of the country. Wow. And all done, all made in Ireland, coming straight to you. I can't, I cannot stress that enough. The, a little piece of Ireland that's coming straight to your home. That yeah, maybe when you went to Ireland and visited, you brought back um, like an Aaron Craft type sweater. But if you never got a chance to go, uh, this is such uh, an impressive piece to get into your wardrobe. And, and I think, it, I think yeah. it's worth saying that we offer more colors to QVC than we do to anywhere else. So even if you found the same style in Ireland, which in this case, this is a unique style to QVC, um, you wouldn't, even if you found the same style, you would find that you won't find it in as many colors as we offer to customers on QVC. 
That's really, really important to know. So you're really, you're even getting more options here than if you would go to Ireland right <laughs> now. Are. The length on this, I think, is wonderful too because I feel like um, the you always want coverage, you always want to be comfortable, especially if you're looking for warmth, right? But so the length on this is 29 and a half inches through 33 inches. Again, don't worry so much about the sizing because this is very generous. It is meant to be oversized or it's meant to be relaxed. Uh, I think that's important to, to note. And then, so if you wear it with a short sleeve t-shirt like I'm wearing it or like we saw in the video, a nice long sleeve t-shirt, this is going to be, like Barry said, such a perfect transition piece of going through right now that it might be a little bit chilly all the way into when it's very, very cold. I think you said something very important there. Is is, is that it? It, it looks it looks it's draped elegantly, but it never looks sloppy, and that's because of the amount of wool that's in it. There's a, there's a huge amount of merino wool going into this, so that even you, when you sit down on uh, on your on your sofa if you're wearing this. The, the wool naturally finds finds a way to drape in a way that doesn't look slouchy or sloppy. It just looks like it's it's hanging correctly. And there you go. Thank you very yeah, much. Perfect. And that's and like you said, that's why it's easy to get in and out of your car. I mean, and then for me, it's all about that drape. It's all about that elegance, that easy elegance, right? That you don't always have to worry about what you're wearing, how you're wearing it. Something like this is you are good to go. You don't have to worry about what you have underneath. And you're going to look so elegant with a piece like this. But you're going to be so comfortable and you're going to be so warm as well. Because again, merino wool, um, Barry, it's it's very very special. It's it's more it's it's uh, it's become such a commodity in the world that, that finding finding this amount of merino wool, particularly at this amazing price, is almost unheard of these days. If you need, if you wanted to buy the wool to knit this yourself, you'd be paying probably twice as much as what of, of what the price is, is today. It's just becoming so expensive because. Uh, there's only a certain amount of wool that's produced by merino sheep qualifies to be this oh. this uh, this this level of, of fine merino wool, and um, I think wow. that's one of the beautiful. It, it comes from these amazing merino sheep that are that are uh, bred specifically for their beautiful long silky fibered wool. That's it. It's, it's so cool. So we have sizes extra, extra small through extra, extra large and uh, m colors to choose from. So I'm wearing the parsnip beautiful like oatmeal uh, type of a color. We also have the soft gray, the black, most popular in the black, and many people are getting more than one. Right now we have a 40% savings. We're saving over $75 on this piece. We also have the army green, and we've got well, that's it. Those are the those are the four colors. Now these are also um, marled, except the black is just solid. The black, the black is solid, but all, all of the remaining colors are uh, combinations of two complementing colors, which is what we call a marled yarn. So on the soft gray, there is a kind of a, a, a steely kind of element to it, and then there's kind of a white element to it. And really what that does, because you expect with a natural fiber, you don't really, it's uncommon to see this kind of very solid. Granted, we have the colors like the black and that that we specifically dye solid, but I think the marled gives a little bit more aspect, gives a little bit more three-dimensionality to, the, to these already kind of like chunky stitches um, and I think uh, if you look at the buttons on the side you find that the buttons are actually dyed to match and to capture that uh, same variation. It gives it so much dimension. So Barry, oh my god, okay so that's the hour is over. Thank you so much for joining joining us. Uh, it's been amazing and I'm looking forward to seeing everybody again on Thursday. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Barry. I'll see you soon. So You're more than the, welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you. So the big deal is 